Hey, welcome back to Yoga with Tim. I'm Tim, and today we're gonna do a flow where you're going to need a couple of blocks, something to backbend over, whether that's just a, a blanket over your block or a foam roller if you have that. I like using that. And you'll also need a wall. We're gonna be going to the wall towards the end of the class. I hope you have all those things. Okay, so we're going to begin seated cross-legged. Sit up straight and tall. Rest your hands on your thighs. It's always a good idea to let things start to settle and empty before we begin. So just doing nothing completely to transition. To transition from all the doing, all the thinking, the being external and everything you have to do in your day to day. We're gonna take a few moments to transition. So rest your hands on your thighs. Sit up straight and tall without straining and close your eyes. And transition into feeling, go inward. Practice feeling a sense of ease and watching your breath flow in and out through your nose. So an important concept when we're practicing, practicing is a balance of effort and surrender or letting go. Let go where you can let go, but maintain a bit of effort to stay upright and open. There's the concept in Taoism of Wu Wei or doing but not doing. So you could think of it this way as well. Allow the pose to be. Almost like the pose is doing you. You're just receiving. Okay. I could go on ad nauseum, but we won't go on anymore. Open up your eyes. So now with the simple cross legs or with your right leg in half lotus, Sit up tall and twist to your right. The half lotus shouldn't bring any pain or strain in the knee. Release that, change the cross of your legs, and twist to your left. Feel the skin on your back body spread, back of the neck open. Come back to center. Plug your navel back. You can even put your fingers there to release it back. Put your hands down. Use the press of your hands to lengthen through your lumbar. Plug your hips in. Plug the thighs in to lengthen the thoracic spine. Release the back of the neck. Inhale, come up. Change the cross again. This time, raise your arms up. Reach up. Bend your elbows like cactus arms. Lift your heart up to the ceiling. Stretch your arms back up, bring your hands down in front of you, plug the navel back like you had fingers there, press the hands, lengthen the lower back, plug the thighs, lengthen the thoracic spine, lengthen the back of the neck forward. Inhale back up, plant your fingers next to you, then take your left arm up and overhead as you sit that hip down, let the thigh bone release down. If you have your foot in the half lotus, you can release your thigh away from the foot. Now find the balance of effort and surrender in the pose, doing but not doing. Let your body be in the pose and feel where you're resisting. Come back up, change the cross. Take your other arm up. Sit the hip down, release the hip crease as you reach up and over to the side. Now visualize your side ribs like gills and where it feels tight or sticky, breathe into those gills. Come back up, then bring your hands down at the top of your mat and turn your hands around if possible. And we'll get this little stretch for the forearms and the wrists. Be light through your wrists, micro bend your elbows, micro bend your wrists. Then tip your sit bones up to the ceiling. Wheel the pelvis, wheel the heart into the back bend. And then tuck the buttocks round through your lower back, middle back, upper back, and neck. Start from the pelvis again, come into the back bend.
and then round your spine. One more time. Release that, turn your hands around. Bring your right hand behind your head, inhale, spin your chest open. Exhale, slide the hand behind your left wrist and stretch. Inhale, hand behind your head, spin your chest. Exhale, stretch. Last one, inhale, spin open. And exhale, turn, stretch. Inhale, back up. Change sides, left hand behind your head. Inhale, spin open. Exhale, slide the hand behind and stretch. Inhale, spin open. Exhale, turn. Inhale, open. And this last one will hold. Come back up, plant your hands, curl your toes under, lift your hips and stretch back into downward dog. Open up the skin on the bottom of the hands and plug down into your knuckles. Lift from your inner elbows up into the inner shoulder Turn the triceps down and lengthen from the outer arms into the fingers, outer armpits. As you descend your toe mounds, spread the toes, but draw your thigh bones up and back. Make sure that the ankles aren't collapsing, but lift the inner ankles. Then shift into plank pose. We'll hold in plank for five breaths, building heat. Strengthen your mountain pose line. Don't let the pelvis sink or lift. Keep your middle in. Spine long, collarbones broad. Plug up the energy leaks to your legs. Hug in and draw up through the pelvic floor. And then lie down onto your belly. Stretch your arms forward. And we're going to start to wake up the back body for back bending. Press the tops of the feet down, engage your leg muscles. Roll the outer thighs down, release the groins up to the ceiling, no matter how much you're engaging the legs. Then as you engage the buttocks, the glutes, raise your right leg up an inch. Grow the leg longer out of your lower back. Change legs, raise the left leg up an inch. Roll the outer thighs down again, engage the glute, buttock flush out of the lower back, stretch the leg. Change legs, right leg up, now, without twisting in your torso, turn your left thumb up and raise the hand an inch. Lower, change sides. Decompress the spine. Lower the leg. Now bend the elbows back. Lift up into modified locus with the arms and cactus. Turn on the back of the shoulders. So we're engaging in this back bend to find controlled range of motion. Then stretch your arms back. Lower your heart down. Plant your hands next to your side ribs. And then roll up into low cobra. Hold here, come up into high cobra. Hold there or roll up into upward facing dog. And up dog, the knees lift up. Keep rolling the outer thighs down. Move the flesh of the buttock out of the back. Roll your chest through your arms. Stretch back into downward dog. Walk your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Spread your arms, externally rotate and reach up. 
Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale into a flat back. Step back and lower into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a few moments here to connect to your breath. Look in between your hands. Step or float up lightly to the front of your mat. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, raise your arms. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower into Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Look in between your hands, step or float up to the top. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up. Ground down through your heel bones, release your inner thighs back and buttocks down as you lift up through your side ribs, armpits, and release. One more time, inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. From downward dog, Press down through your left toe mounds as you raise your right leg up from the inner thigh. Shift in the plank, pull your knee up to your chest. Step your foot up by your thumb. Drop your back knee down, point your toes back. Bring your hands to your right knee and peel yourself up off your thigh. Raise your left arm up. Then bring your hands back down to the mat. Here's where your blocks might come, into hand, come in handy. You can keep your fingertips on the floor, come up on a block, slide your hips back over top of your left knee, and then slide your right foot forward. Breathe into the stretch. Start with the foot plantar flex, the toes pointed down. Then slide the heel a couple more inches forward and dorsiflex your foot. Pull the thigh bone back, but reach forward through your big toe mound like you're pressing a gas pedal. Then walk your hands back under your shoulders, upright yourself, and swivel your left knee, left foot over to the right. Press to your feet and open yourself up. Sorry, I'm facing you from the back. But this first one, we're going to come into gate latch pose. As you press down through the left shin, keep your hip right up over top of your knee and then reach over to the side. Inhale, come back up. Then bring your right knee back next to your left, hands onto your hips. Roll your elbows and your shoulders back without narrowing your kidney ribs and then start to arch in your upper back, roll your heart open towards the ceiling. Release the inner thighs back, the groins back, but then move the flesh of the buttocks down, 
Open your lower back skin as you roll your heart open. Come back up, curl your toes under, sit back onto your heels, interlock your fingers with the left index finger on top, raise your arms up. Bring your arms back down, change the interlock, turn your palms inside out and raise your arms. The arm thing is just to distract you from the toe torture. Bring your arms back down. Come back into plank pose. Hold here in plank, engage your core, and raise your right leg up. Change, raise your left. Lower that and stretch back into dog. Then take your left leg up as you press down through your right toe mounds. Raise the left leg up behind you. Shift into plank, pull your knee up. Step your foot up, drop your back knee, inner thigh back, buttock flush down as you bring your hands to your knees, start to lift up the front of your pelvis, but keep releasing the groin back and the buttocks down. This is gonna be really important for the back bends that we're gonna work later on. Take your right arm up, draw your middle waistline back, Then bring your hands down to the mat, hips back over top of your knee, slide your front foot forward, breathe into the stretch. Stretch from the front of the ankle, down into the toes, down into the floor. Then slide your heel a few more inches, couple inches, and dorsiflex your foot. Open up to the toe mound, and then from the inner big toe mound, draw an imaginary line up the inseam of the leg, into the hip socket, deepen it into your gut. Then walk your hands back slightly under your shoulders, come out of the stretch a bit, swivel your foot over to the left, press down and come up, preparing for gate latch. Oh, my knee skin got all twisted, ouch. Okay, open up for gate latch. Spread your arms, and then as you reach down through that right shin, go over to the side. Effort to stay open, but without overdoing. So make sure that you're not actually creating more tension for yourself. Be the pose, let the pose do you. Inhale, come back up. Then knees together, hands to your hips, roll your heart open, lift your chest up. Come back up, curl the toes under, sit back. Now this time take your right hand behind your back from under, left arm from above. Bend the elbow, stretch the hands towards each other, and then reach the elbows in opposite directions. Come back up, release the arms, point the toes back and sit in Vajrasana if possible. That's just where you're seated on your heels. And then take your left hand behind your back, right arm up. Let the upper chest open, then turn your right outer arm forward, lift up through the elbow, pull the elbows in opposite directions without straining. Release that. Come back onto your hands for plank pose. Hold your middle in and raise your left leg up this time. Change, raise your right leg up. Set that foot down and stretch back into downward dog. Walk your feet forward to the front of your mat. Bend your knees, sit back like you're sitting into a chair. Release the tail down, lift the navel up, and raise your arms up. Bring your hands to prayer, shift the weight into your right foot, and step your left leg back into Vera One. Roll your left inner thigh back, buttocks down, scoop up the front of the pelvis, just like we did in the lunge, now raise your arms. 
Take your arms forward slightly, cross your left thumb over your right, pull in opposite directions, feel the humeral head, the inner upper arm bone drop down into the socket. Now lift up from your outer armpits up into your pinkies and reach up. Feel the bottoms of the blades spreading and lifting up, but that humeral head dropping down. Lift up higher up through the outer side ribs, up into your hands, and let your right thigh drop a little deeper without shrinking your back leg. Bring your hands to prayer. Step forward, chair pose. Tail down, heart up. Hands to prayer, shift into the left foot. Step your right leg back. Take your arms forward. This time, cross the right thumb over the left. Seal your back foot. Descend the four corners of that foot. Inner thigh, groin flows down. And then as you feel the psoas soften back, like did you ever um, touch a sea urchin? It kind of softens away from your fingers. Think of your psoas right here like that. And then slowly start to raise your arms up while the psoas softens and gets longer. Buttock flush out of your back, lower back tall, grow the kidney band. Bring your hands to prayer. Step forward. Last one, tail down, chair pose. And fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower into Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot for warrior one. Inhale, come right up through the midline. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Feel your spine elongating, even if you have to bend the knees to make it happen. Then look in between your hands, step or float up to the front. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale into chair pose. Tailbone down, scoop the navel, raise your arms, heart. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale into chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step or float back into chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot, warrior one, inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot, inhale, reach up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Up Dog. Exhale, Down Dog. One more time, look in between your hands. Step or float up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. 
Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale into chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step or float back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Then from down dog, step your right foot up by your right thumb. Set up your back heel for warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Lift your heart, look up towards your hands, and then press your palms, lean out over your knee, but keep your core engaged, your lower back long as you reach to your hands. Then float your arms back, heart open, spin your back heel up, and lean into warrior three. Now without your left foot touching the floor, come up to stand, bring your knee up, raise your arms. Stretch your legs straight out in front of you without tucking your butt. Then bend your right knee, wrap your left leg over and cross your left arm under. If you can double cross the arms for eagle arms, go ahead. Otherwise you can do the modified variation that I'm showing. Now hands to prayer, draw your navel in and start to round out like you're gonna bring your chest to your knee. Then reach your heart forward, make a flat back, uncross that leg and reach it back into warrior three. Bend your knee, step back into warrior one, inhale the arms up. Then clasp your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders back and inhale keeping your right outer hip pulled back and in, fold forward onto the inside of your leg. If your shoulder is tight, you can use a strap or a towel in between your hands instead. Then set your hands down, step back into downward facing dog or take a vinyasa. Step your left foot up. Set up your back foot, come up into your one. Then lift your gaze, lift, join your palms, lean your chest out over your knee, keep the stretch of your back leg, left hip crease in. Then arms stretch back, heart stays reaching forward, lean into your foot and step into your three. Keep the hip bones level to the floor, hug in and grow the spine. Grow your tail out of your lower back. Without your foot touching the floor, come up to stand, bring your knee up, arms up, and stretch your legs straight out in front of you. Then bend your left knee, wrap your right leg over, cross your right arm under. Take the double cross or modification stretch preparation.
Then hands to prayer. Draw your belly in and start to round out like you're going to tap your chest onto your knee. Stay low, but reach your heart forward. Uncross your leg and reach it back into your three. Step back into warrior one, arms up. Bring your hands behind your back, roll your shoulders back, clasp the hands and fold forward onto the inside of your leg without your hip kicking out to the side. Set your hands down, step back into downward facing dog or take a vinyasa. Then set your knees down, set your elbows down onto the ground. With the hands shoulder distance apart, drop, plug your navel up, curl your toes, lift your knees and hips up. Without your ribs sinking, raise your right leg up. Change, raise the left. Lower that leg and walk into plank on your forearms. Angle your left forearm into the midline and come into side plank. Press down through the feet. Plug up the energy leaks through the legs, through the pelvis, draw energy up through the spine. Change legs, change arms. Roll to the other side of the feet and take your left arm up. Bring your left elbow back down, lower your hips down, Sphinx pose, roll your heart open. And then come back up onto all fours. Okay, here's where we're going to need the wall and our back bending prop. So take your mat over to your wall. and grab your foam roller or whatever else you have. You can use a block with like a blanket over top of it. If you've got a hard block, you don't want that sharp edge pointing, poking into your spine. And then we're gonna take whatever you have for back bending just across your bra line, right at the bottom of the blades. The front hip bones wrap in, the thighs turn in towards each other, and then with your hands behind your head, inhale, roll your chest over the roller or block, whatever you got and just let your spine start to receive the pressure of whatever you're lying on. And then from here, if you can drop your head to the floor, cool. If not, you can shove stuff in between your head and the floor, another blanket, pillow, whatever. Take your arms up, grab the elbows and reach the elbows over. Press the uh, buttocks down towards the floor. Reach through the top, of the back of the head, right where it's touching into the prop. Feel one even arc through your spine feeling. Change the cross of the elbows. And then bring the hands to the wall, turn the triceps in, and see if you can straighten your arms. Maybe you can walk your hands down a little bit. Still even curve in the spine, don't force it.
and then release. Hands behind your head. Woo! Oh, that's a whole lot of back bend. And now crunch like you're doing some abdominals. Bring your right leg into table. Push the heel forward, abs wrap in, lower, back up, change, left leg in table, push the heel forward, abs engage, see lower, back up, and release. Inhale, roll over, exhale, back up. Okay, then move your prop to the side. And now we're gonna practice standing splits at the wall into King Arthur. So these are really great leg stretches to prepare you for back bending. So we're gonna start off with a mini down dog, heels at the wall. And then from here, take your right leg up. And instead of the toe pointing up, I want you to curl the big toe under. And then as you roll the thighs back, move the buttocks out of the lower back and then start to stretch that back leg without your right buttock creeping into your lower back. Move that buttock down, plug the low abdominals back to the spine. And then as you breathe in, just from above your pelvic floor, imagine you could pull it right up the central channel to the back of the palate. Release that and change legs. Now look in between your hands. Can you bring weight into the hands, lift the right foot and step it forward? and then lower your back knee right to where the wall meets the floor. You can just kind of finagle it if you didn't get it just right. Over time, you get the finesse, so you can just go right into it pretty easily. Okay, so the knee gets right to where the wall meets the floor, the right foot goes out to the side, and then we're just gonna come into this position with the hands on the inside of the knee, modified lizard. Feel your groins release, the chest open and then see if you can lift up onto your fingertips while releasing the flesh of the lower back, letting it spread. And then moving into King Arthur, start to stretch your hips back towards your heel. And if possible, bring your hands to your right knee and start to upright yourself. Now just go to, and remember what we practiced at the beginning. Don't try to jam. As soon as you feel the barrier of sensation, just be there and breathe. The inner thigh releases back, smooth the buttocks down, draw your middle up and lift up through your ribs. Good, release that and change legs. So now the right knee comes against the wall, the left foot goes forward, come into the modified lizard at first, breathe, feel the quads release. Lift up onto your fingertips, still releasing the quads, the buttocks. Then bring your hips back towards your heel and slowly start to upright yourself. But as you come up, feel the buttocks slide down. The groin releases back first, then the buttock slides down. And then see if you can soften back to your low abs so that the psoas can lengthen. and slowly release. All right, then from there, we're gonna come into handstand. So if you're a practiced handstand practitioner, you've already done the handstand course, which is now part of the conscious movement community. A lot of you guys that are part of the conscious movement community, you can watch that course for free now. It's part of your 15 bucks a month. If you're not, just click the link to sign up. 
give it a shot. You can at least watch the course for, you get a two week trial. So get that in while you're at it. <laughs> stick it to the man. Actually, I'm the man. Don't stick it to me, but uh, watch it if you need to. Okay, so we're gonna do the preparation first with the hands right underneath the shoulders, press into the four corners of your hands, arms tall, really important, the shoulder action, inner arm bone into the socket, but then push from your shoulder blades into your hands. Then curl your toes, lift up, take one foot up at the wall first, press into your arms, arms like steel, plugging your middle and maybe lift the other foot up. Start with your knees bent, recommit to the arms, push into the hands, shoulder blades into the hands, but inner arm bones in. And then as you plug your middle in, maybe start to lift your hips up higher. Then lower yourself down. So if that's new and it's difficult just to get the length of the spine and the arms, I want you to just keep working that. Do the handstand course, do the arm balance course. Those will both help. They're both on the uh, conscious movement community. Otherwise, if you feel comfortable enough to, you're already practiced at it, you've already done these courses, then you're ready. If you haven't, you gotta do the courses first. You gotta learn the technique. But otherwise, look in between your hands, one leg at a time. Go up and over. And once you feel steady, maybe you can lift one leg and then the other. Slowly lower yourself and take Uttanasana. And then come into Supta Virasana. Ideally, with the block in the upper back. Come back up. All right, then land to your back for bridge or urva dhanurasana. Now, if you're a conscious movement community member, you can watch an extended version of this video where we're doing more balancing poses, more standing poses, and then more back bend variations. Otherwise, um, you just finished a video with me today, but I'll put the link to the conscious movement community where you can find the extended version. So come up into bridge or wheel. Lower yourself back down, take a breath. Go back up. Lower yourself back down. Last one, go back up. And release. Open your arms out to the side. Cross your right leg, right knee over your left knee. Shift your hips to the right a little and let your legs fall over to the left. Knees and hips back to center. Change the cross of your legs, left knee over your right. Hips over the left a little, let the knees fall over.
Come back to center. Uncross your legs and take happy baby. And then release that. Hug your knees into your chest and roll up. Sit with your legs wide apart. Reach and if possible, grab a hold of your big toes. Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, start to go deeper. Inhale back up. Preparation for Ardha Baddha Padma Paschimottanasana. Bring your right leg into half lotus or just cross your right ankle onto your left thigh just above your knee. Then reach, catch a hold of your foot and make a flat back. Hold there. If the flat back's coming easily, start to go deeper. Inhale back up. Change legs. Inhale back up and lie down onto your back for Shavasana. After you adjust the shorts, important. Turn your palms up, let your feet fall open. Just let go. Feel your body expanding and opening as you breathe in. Feel yourself grounding and cooling as you breathe out, letting go of what you don't need to be holding. Feel the fresh cleansing energy move in through the nose, through the central channel. As you breathe out, empty, let go. So whenever we come up against an obstacle, just notice what your tendency is. Is your tendency to try to push, jam past the obstacle. Usually when we do this in practice, we end up creating more tension, more obstacles, and probably injury or pain. So when you meet the obstacle, don't resist. Look for the space, look for the inner space. Let's see what the space, the awareness, the breath can do. And notice that it starts to create more space and the obstacle goes away. Hashtag life metaphor. <laughs> All right, bend your knees. Roll over to your right side and press yourself up to seated. Bring your palms together. Namaste. Hey, thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button. Make sure to let me know what you liked about it. You like the format, some of the poses, you have any questions about it, I'm always here for you to answer questions. Um, also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell. That'll make sure that you don't miss any future uploads. It's the best way to support the channel. And I'm not sure if I mentioned the Conscious Movement community yet. Have I told you about that? 
We already said it three times in this video. Yes, yeah, so if you want the extended version, just click the link below. Um, it's 15 bucks a month. It's, uh, that's like half the price of taking a class with me in Orange County at this place where I teach. They're charging an arm and a leg over there to take one class. You could get all the classes, uh, as many as you want every month. So anywho, have a great day and I'll see you next time.